Hi everyone, here's our video on cutting out stickers using our Roland vinyl cutter. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator and we got our sticker all set. This image on the left is what I want to show you, kind of get an idea of how this is going to work. We start starting off with a roll of white vinyl and we're going to use our these vector paths in Adobe Illustrator to um, have the Roland cut the vector path and cut this out of uh, our material. Now, I like to do it like this, just so you get an idea of what's going to stay and what's going to be left. So everything where there's a red line, I have this set up as it's going to be cut out by the vinyl cutter. And the white part is going to keep, and all everything in black is what we're going to cut out and peel. So it's going to cut out this sticker down here, and it's also going to cut these squares and this oval right here. And we're going to be able to peel those out or weed them. Now, at the beginning, you might want to make your stickers like this one on the left. But in the end, this one on the right will do the exact same thing. This is just kind of like a formality to get it to understand of what's where it's going to cut and what's going to stay and what's going to be removed. But both of these will work. Now, to use our vinyl cutter, we do need to back save these. Our vinyl cutter uses an old version of Adobe Illustrator. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go file save as. I already have this saved, but I need to resave it as a um, as a I'm going to call it. Um, uh, sticker, and then I'll call it AI, I'm going to call it CS5, all right, oops, CS5, and I have it saved type as Adobe Illustrator, we're going to click save, and this window is going to pop up right here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and not save it as the newest CC version, but back save it as CS5, Creative Suite 5, and go ahead and click OK. All right, then we can go ahead and open it up on our other computer. Before we get our artwork set up on our other computer, let's go ahead and log into our, let's turn on our Roland and get it all set up so we can get the measurements because we do need to take that over to our uh, Roland software. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just turn on the Roland. And it is uh, first going to home itself. It's going to find out where the print head is or the cut head is. which is going to move all the way to the right and it's going to find that uh, right side limit. And the first thing it's asking is if we are using a sheet or a roll. It is already set on roll, and that just means it's unlimited in the back. And uh, let me pull this up. And this roll is on the back side of this. Uh, we just have this big roll of white sticker vinyl. So at this point where it says roll, the first thing you do is just go ahead and hit enter right here. And what it's going to do is it has a little magic eye that measures it and basically tells you how wide this roll is because we can go up to 24 inches on this one. And this is really important. Right here on the screen, you do need to notice it has the width. And it says um, it, is, it has measured 14.0 inches. So that's a real, really important number because we are going to input that into our software. Uh, now we've got it to the side. We, we do need to press and hold the up arrow. And that gets it to this bottom left corner. We're going to call that our 0, 0. Just think of the Cartesian coordinate system. That is the very bottom left uh, side of our, of our material. We'll call it our zero, our home, and what we're going to do is our, our origin, and we're going to press and hold origin here until it starts blinking on this right side, and it stops blinking, and we set that to the origin. All right, now we're going to jump over to the computer. All right, now that we're on our computer that's hooked up to our cutter, uh, we need to send our design to Roll and Cut Studio. And whatever we have it set to, this is our Cut Studio plugin app right here. And right now we have it set to selected lines. Whatever we have selected, it's gonna it's gonna uh, send it to the Cut Studio software. Well, right now we don't have anything selected. And I'm going to select this uh, black and white sticker on the left, and you can see it pop up here in this preview window. But for the sake of the video, I'm actually going to select both of these, all of this, and we'll see how they look. Uh, if they're different or the same in Roland Cut Studio. All right, so you can see we both have our preview right here on the left. And once you have what you want to cut, um, we are going to actually, let's do one more thing. I want to double check this. Make sure you always check your size first. Let's come up here to transform. And I'm going to look at my width and my height. Now the width is 7.7 .7 and the height is 6.1 inches, which I've already measured this, but it's always good to double check. How big is your sticker before you do this? And that's up here under transform. All right, now that I have them both selected over here, I'm just going to click on the R right here and it's going to open up Roland Cut Studio software. 
Now, the first thing we need to do is tell it that we only have a 14 inch roll. You know, like I said, there is diff there's different sizes of material. So we're gonna come up to file, cutting setup. And we're gonna be printing or cutting to the roll in GX24. You go to properties and the width right here, by default, it's set at 22.99. It's highlighted in blue. So I'm just gonna type 14 over it. Don't even hit backspace and hit enter. And it's gonna change the width of this preview to much narrow as opposed to 23 inches. It's now set to uh, 14, which is our material. Now, when we cut on our machine, is we are going to use all of this and this is basically gonna be wasted. So what I'm gonna do for the sake of this cut is let's rotate these 90 degrees. So I'm gonna, we, I'll do it one by one. I'm gonna select this first one and to select something and roll them, by the way, you have to go all the way around it. This will only grab this stuff that I completely clicked and dragged around and this will select it. Properties. Let's go to rotation angle, and we're just going to go 90, enter. Let's rotate it 90, and I'm going to put it uh, down here to the right. And this one, let's grab this one and do the same thing. Properties, rotation angles, 90, enter. In this way, we waste much less material, okay? So now we're only using this first one, two, three, four inches of material, and the only waste really is what's in between these. Now, if you want to um, align everything automatically, we can just click this move to the corner and it's going to move it automatically right here to what I said, our zero, zero, our origin. If we have extra space here on the right, my preference is actually to just move it over a little bit. All right, here's our material. It's set and ready. And what we're going to do is come up to cutting and the GX24 and we'll go ahead and click OK. Okay, I now have the roll and cutter set. I'm gonna come over here, leaving off from our last video. It's set to the printer, GX24. Go ahead and click OK. And it's gonna be set to the vinyl cutter. And it's gonna cut out these two stickers. All right, cutting's done. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is always double check your cutting pressure. Right now we have this set at 110. Um, for different materials, you do need to check your pressure. So this one, since we are cutting stickers last, it was already correctly set. All right, now that it's done cutting, we need to just remove it. And back here on the back of this cutter, we usually have uh, a little blade. Um, but what we need to do is bring this off. You actually cut right here on in between this dark gray and this silver gray plastic. That's actually the cut line right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the down arrow. Make sure you have a little bit of extra. I don't want this to be tight. So I'm gonna roll this forward. I know you can't really see it. Roll that forward. And I'm gonna click the down arrow. Now, if you hold it for more than a few seconds, it starts to go fast. So it's gonna kind of jump on size. So sometimes I like to do it in small bits, but. All right, and you're looking for the little lines. I could see where it cut. You might not be able to see on this video, but I could see the edge of the sticker right here. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit more to where this cut line, this corner, there we go. It's probably about you know a quarter inch or a half inch below this. And what you need to do is we're going to hold this flat, insert it right here between the two pieces and, oops, and one smooth cut. All right, so now we have our cut, but we now need to weed our sticker. Okay, to weed our sticker, what we're gonna do is try to peel away everything that we don't want. So we're gonna have to come in here and look real carefully and try to find our cut lines and peel all the stuff that we don't need. I usually like to put, I don't know if you notice in the artwork, I always like to put a rectangle around our design because that allows me to do a first quick pull and get all this extra from the outside. Get rid of that. And I do like to keep this around because that helps us keep track of all the little pieces that we're gonna weed. All right. So now, on this one, we now have this outside piece that we are going to find. So, again, with these sharp little tweezers right here, I'm going to pick this piece right here. Now, we got to make sure um, that we are not peeling up things that we want to keep. So, you have to kind of really, uh, well, first just know what your design is and, and take your time and make sure you are not peeling things that you don't want to lose.
This is actually a nice bold design. If you have a really lot of detail in your sticker, it, sometimes it gets a little tricky, but this one was nice and easy. All right, now for the small pieces that we need to weed or pull out of the small sections. There's these little windows right here, so make sure you're on the inside, pull and pick that out and put it on the scrap over there so it all so we don't make a mess. All right, so and then we got one more, oh, a couple more pieces here. Now, um, that's it for this one, and I'll do the second one at the same time so I can cut both of these. So peel the outside. Oops. So there we have it all weeded, and now we need to apply the transfer tape on how we're going to uh, apply this sticker to whatever surface we want to. All right, and the way we're going to do this is with our transfer tape. It's basically a large roll of masking tape that's kind of a light tack. It's not really tacky, just enough to hold the sticker, okay? And what we're going to do is I'm going to pull out a sheet that's basically just big enough. Let's go right about to there, a little bit more. And whether you want to use your razor blade or scissors, whatever's most comfortable for you, I have my scissors handy. I'll make this cut down here. Now what we're going to do with this transfer tape is we are going to apply it. Um, I, I find it works best if you apply it from the middle. So I'm going to kind of let this droop down. Let's hit the middle and work down that side and down this side and flatten this out with as few bubbles as possible. Now we're going to come back with our little spatula, our little squeegee type thing, and really work this in, getting the air bubbles out. And there we go. Now, one last thing to clean up our sticker and make it ready is we're just going to cut it out. Now, there's no need to get really super close, but I do like to clean this up a little bit. It makes it a little bit more manageable in size. Let's say a half inch, oh, I'm sorry, a quarter to a half inch border around all of it would be just fine. Again, for classroom purposes, make sure all this stuff goes to the trash. Do not leave a mess in our classroom. We'll clean that up in a moment. And we'll cut this in half right here. And here we now have two white vinyl stickers that we are ready to apply to something. Now, the way we're going to apply this is just by peeling this transfer tape. And when you peel this transfer tape, this actually removes and peels the whole sticker right there. And you are now able to take this sticker you peel this, this is the trash right here. You apply this whole thing to whatever surface you want to stick it to. You want to put it on a bottle, a car, or a window. You stick this on, and what's going to happen is this white sticker is really tacky. This is really sticky, and this is less tacky. And you're going to stick it on. You'll come back with uh, maybe like your ID or a license or something like that, or a credit card, ATM card. Scrape it down, get all the bubbles out, and then you should be able to peel this transfer taper transfer tape and this white sticker will stay on whatever surface that you're trying to put it on all right i look forward to seeing all your stickers